Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to McDonald Jones Stadium for the final match in the 2019 National Rugby League Anzac Round. Please welcome our two teams, the Parramatta Eels, led by Clint Gutherson, and the NIB Newcastle Knights, led by Captain Mitchell Pearce. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are able, I ask that you please stand and remove your caps for our Anzac commemoration ceremony. The Anzac Ode will be read by Sydney Lynch. That will be followed by Captain Graham N. Reynolds, who will conduct the last post, which will be followed by a moment's silence and the rouse. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old, age shall not worry them, nor the years condemn, the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them, lest we forget. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the National Anthem of New Zealand to be performed by Kometi Levi. That will be followed by the Australian National Anthem performed by musician Matthew Gallimore. Oh, 
Well, there you have it. The scene is set for a great afternoon of rugby league here in Newcastle. And to take you through every moment of it at McDonald Jones Stadium, on the sideline, Darren Lockyer and Alana Ferguson, and in the commentary box, Peter Sterling, Phil Gould, and it's a very good afternoon, Matthew Thompson. Good afternoon to you, James. And if you love your Sunday footy, today is for you. It is a day to die for here in Newcastle for a showdown between teams that have defied pre-season expectations. Uh, Parramatta in a tremendous form, as we know. They're looking for their fifth win in seven rounds, and this man is back to bolster their chances, Peter Sterling. He was bitterly disappointed. He missed Monday's opening at Bankwest Stadium. The rib's a problem, uh, but he's OK. Had a good start to the season, obviously, and it's been a happy hunting ground coming up against the Knights. He's got 11 tries from his last seven games against them. And nice to see Matt. He doesn't have the Hannibal Lecter strapping around the nose, so that's got to be a positive. They did a good job of that schnoz, didn't they? Uh, Danny Levi, Phil Gould, very important player at a dummy half for Newcastle. Yeah, he certainly is. You know, the Knights have probably had trouble executing and scoring points, and they mainly go through their two mate playmakers, Mitchell Pearce and Caelan Ponga, but that too can become a little predictable, as good as they are, which means you little, need a little bit more variety and force out of Danny Levi and forming combinations and keeping the opposition interested around the play the ball area. If he can deflect attention away from his two key playmakers and even play away from them occasionally, he will certainly open the field up to those two players more often. So I feel as though he's got a big job to do, not just today, but in the revival of Newcastle in this competition. So Parramatta were being forecast by many to potentially prop up the bottom of the ladder again this year after taking out the wooden spoon last year. A win here would entrench them inside the top eight. For Newcastle, a loss would be their sixth in a row. Michael Jennings, another uh, potent attacking player for Parramatta. Yes, well, Newcastle might have struggled for tries. Not so Michael Jennings this season. Six from his five games. The other experienced member of the back line. A premiership winner in his time with the Roosters. And got a double on Monday. So he's ready to go. And he looks as fit as I've seen in Michael Jennings. There's a good feeling about this one. Newcastle really need to win. Stay There's back. been speculation about the future of coach Nathan Brown throughout the week after a big loss to the Gold Coast last weekend. Can they correct their form slump? Let's see what happens in Sunday footy here in Newcastle. Big crowd as always. The sun beaming down on McDonald Jones Stadium. Great colour and... Excitement in the local area about today's clash. Here's Maroa now. Shoved back with some strong front-on defence. Tim Glasby, the 13, who celebrated his 30th birthday yesterday. For Junior Paulo. Tremendous effort from him last week. And a big win over the West Tigers. The first match played at Bank West Stadium. Penny Terrapo. Into the starting team, Daniel Alvaro missing because of concussion for Moses. A 
long kick downfield. It's taken by the excitement machine, Ponga. Yeah. We'll give it away now to Sean Kenny Dowell to run back near the 30-metre line. Well, it was an excellent set defensively for Newcastle. It was only late charges from Junior Paulo and Penny Turpay that got them outside their own 20 parameter. So the Knights, their first possession in good field position. As Edric Lee takes the third carry forward, they are back to the halfway line. It's going to be a good season so far. Edric, six tries for the campaign. And the Manfield Bull pinpointed Levi with a run over the 40 metre line. Ponger into first receiver with some good footwork. Scored a blistering try last week in a team that was comprehensively beaten. Mitchell Pierce, Newcastle's captain, hoisting in the air where Ferguson could take it. There was a hit maybe of a mid air tackle, but. The referee, Grant Atkins, on the spot, says no. Now, Sivo with a run back beyond the 10. Darren Lockyer, beautiful afternoon down there. Oh, it's a cracking afternoon, Matt. Uh, the Eels, they won the toss. Uh, they elected to go right to left. That's because there's a southerly here, as it typically is, at 20 kilometres. And uh, so they got the breeze behind their back in the first 40. So not going anywhere in a hurry here. That's four tackles gone. They've just gone beyond their 20 metre line. It's a good run from the young tear away on the right-hand side. Marata Niakure for Parramatta. The kicks charged down. The ball rebounds. And uh, we've got an accidental offside. It touches you, and he picks it up in front of you. Well, again, defensively, very good from the Newcastle Knights. Albeit Parramatta not throwing much at them. A lot of one-out stuff. Mitchell Moses down the short side. Kicks it straight into the back of David Clemmer. And there you can see the Parramatta player picking up in an offside position. It's always a danger for Parramatta, isn't it, today, that their big emotional win last week, the opening of their stadium, and then come here a little flat. And their opening minutes are a little bit flat. Clemmer. The reverse of that too, Gus. Newcastle come off their worst performance of the season. You'd expect a reaction from them as well. They failed to score more than 18 points in a game so far this season, Newcastle, which is, a, is quite a puzzling number when you look at this back line with Ponger and, and Pierce and Kenny Dow. And this man, of course, Jesse Ramian, gets the ball away. A late offload for Watson, who tries to crab his way there. They've stopped him just short of the line. Pierce out to Glasby. Runs into Reed Marty and also Maroa wearing the headgear. Pass out to Watson for Ramian. Oh, what a tackle from Sebo. He speared into Ramian and stopped a certain try. Bookmark that one. Maybe a game changer in the context of this. The ball's batted over the dead ball line. How about that for a tackle? Yeah, beautifully read. And lovely play by Levi again. He played away from Mitchell Pierce, come to short side. Ramian had big space in front of him. And Sivo read it beautifully. Came in with a crash tackle from the wing. Hit his opposition centre. It was a try saver. Wait. Kick. Being asked to defend again here. Parramatta. The kick flies 50 metres and 16. Daniel Saifiti. Elevated to start with James Gabbett on the bench for Nathan Brown. Here's Lee. Up to the 20 metre line. Tackled by Paulo around the legs. Now Levi was uh, trying to milk a penalty there with a marker potentially not being square. Referee was happy though. Ponga from close range. Steps left, steps right. He's five out. He's stopped by Moses. Levi for Pierce for Glasby. He's short in stature, Reed Marnie, but he's a very good defender. And you can see he cuts Glasby down there and brings him to ground and they can help themselves to two if they so desire. That's really poor play from Maroa. That was his fault there. He didn't get tangled up. He didn't He didn't do well enough to try and get out of there. So early shot for the Knights.
Talon Ponga from in front. Gives Newcastle a 2 0 lead. I'm interested, Gus, in what, what your take is on this Newcastle attack this year. Just 14 tries in the season. The second worst attacking record in the competition. You look through their team sheet, there's strike everywhere. Yeah, I um, remember in the early rounds too, they did move their fullback to 5 8 in something of an experiment, which is they've decided to revert back, and then that takes another couple of weeks to get used to it. And I think if, back, if Pierce and Tonga are going to dominate the playmaking in this team, then there needs to be other little pockets of combinations that eventuate through the team. Now, that doesn't happen overnight. And that's why I think the, the, the hooker has got to do a little bit more out of dummy half to play away from them. And that could make a difference. Good strong tackle by Sean Lane leading the chase. So Manly, they played spoilers at Brookvale again. 24-20 over the Raiders, but there's not good news on the injury front. Daly Cherry Evans left the field in the 48th minute with a suspected syndesmosis injury. He's had the ankle heavily strapped. Levi Ponga! Ponga now takes off for the line. Sebo gives up. Ponga's going to go and score under the post. Well, that's what Phil Gould is talking about, getting more out of Danny Levi. And he's been excellent in the opening seven minutes and just sets this try up, getting out of dummy half. Parramatta defence close to the play, the ball area. Threadbed. Markers in disarray, three of them there. And Penny Terrible gets, well, he gets fresh air. And Kalen Ponga pushing up from fullback, outpaces Sivo and Moses. Great start for the Newcastle Knights. And the number nine is leading the way. Yeah, brilliant stuff. Find some lazy defence. I think a player was called out offside there. The marker probably should have made the tackle and conceded the penalty. That allowed Levi space. Ponga is backing up as the fullback should, and he streaks away. And that's that's a wonderful start for the home side. Darren Lockyer. Yeah, it was Reed Marnie that he must have been called offside. I think all three were offside because none of them were set. So it was good work by Levi to get out. He was probably looking for just a penalty, but away he went as Ponga moves in. Great start for Nice, 8 0. Gee, it's good to see Ponga extend with that magnificent stride and bring the crowd alight. It's 8 0 Newcastle. This is the way you want to start after being handed a hiding the week before. Newcastle with an 8-0 lead. And a big tackle too on Clemmer. But he'll just lap that up. Sean Lane with Jennings. Alana Ferguson, down to you. Yeah, thank you. I just wanted to give the crowd a quick wrap. Uh, we know that they're very loyal fans down here in Newcastle. When Ponga made that break, the stadium absolutely erupted. They've started strong with some desperate defence and plenty of uh, options in attack. I think Newcastle are going to have a great game this one, Matt. Thanks, Alana. Good to have you back on deck with us as well. Leg grab penalty. It's all going the way of the home team. Yeah, they're doing real well, playing with plenty of energy. And conversely, Parramatta, there's no doubt they're flat. They haven't come out of the blocks. Their heads are still in last week's scoreboard. That big win over the Tigers at home. And when you have a big win like that, you've got to make sure you start at the beginning of the following week. You can't start where you left off, just relying on that emotion and that free running. And the Knights are just a little bit too tough for them at the moment. They're on the march again, deep in Parramatta territory. It's Heimel Hunt tackle. 25 out from the line. For Glasby, high work rate, origin representative. 18 short, Levi across to Pierce. Now Clemmer, he's still going here. Big Clem, they can't stop him. He's a metre out. Levi's waiting for it. He gives it away to Saifidi, who'll try with power to get there, but they get around the ball. Sean Lane pushes him back to the field of play. Play now to Levi. And Pierce, he'll kick on the fourth. He's going to chase himself. Oh! He scored! Parramatta watched it. 
Marco very Marco confident, aren't they? aren't they? Lock and Fitzgibbon, I think, is a man who's gone through. This is going from bad to worse for the Parramatta Eels. A week's a long time in rugby league, isn't it? They appear to Knights have kick chase have been ruled onside. Gutherson back there. So too Ferguson. Oh. And it's the more desperate of the three who arrive. No. Oh. I think that's good enough. And the ball's grounded in the end goal. We have a decision. That's plenty good enough. And we see a lot of this in recent times. Little grubber kicks early in the tackle count close to the try line because teams are so willing to put their fullback up in the defensive line. And Clint Gutherson caught its first defender off the ruck. Has got to turn and chase back. There's Gutherson in it, play the ball area. Pierce recognises it, gets it in behind the line. And whilst Gutherson hurries, it's just a more desperate Knights player that gets in underneath him. If you want to keep putting your fullback up there in the front line, you open yourself up to this type of play. He's come from a long way back there, Fitzgibbon. Yeah, look, they are a second or two behind in every department, Parramatta. There's no doubt Gutherson, despite the territory he had to cover, and Ferguson were the best placed out of the three to get there. But in the end, big number 11, Fitzgibbon, got there comfortable. Blistering start. Ponga makes it 14-0. Two ref guys. Newcastle have uh, caught Parramatta napping here. And there's a good, strong run from the resumption by Saifiti. He's a big lump of a thing, isn't he? Now Kenny Dow. Well, ahead of the clock here, the Knights. And you can see there they've had all the ball as Barnett's tackled on the 30-metre line. Clemmer, met by Terrapo, and Junior Paulo in 10 as well, there to assist Nia Cora. Now this one swirls, he allows it to bounce, uh, both Gutherson and Ferguson, oh there's trouble here, there's trouble, six to go, it's Parramatta with the ball though. That hung up in the air, didn't it? There was a nice swirling kick from Mitchell Pearce, hung up in the breeze. And Blake Ferguson said, I'm not having anything to do with that. Just let it bounce. Played by Takarangi, and now his centre partner Michael Jennings steps up for a run. Yeah, we, we learn about Parramatta again this afternoon now. It's the test of characters to how they handle this situation. A lot of that will come back to Mitchell Moses and Clint Gutherson as the personality of this football team. They've got to try and find a way to rest the momentum back because at the moment, Newcastle Knights are having a great time out there. Sean Kenny now playing it. He's crept off the mark so he can have another go. Mark is up! It's Heimel Hunt up into the defence. Parramatta have won two of their last three games up here in Newcastle. It's never an easy place to come and play. And they are the informed team of these two. The form guides out the window at the moment at 14-0. There's Levi with a good run. Oh, he might have knocked that on there, Edric. Penalty! Yeah, they're forcing the pace, aren't they? High energy. And the Eels haven't responded. There's really been no tackle in any set of six where you feel as though someone's trying to to pull the momentum away from the opposition player. They're beating him to the punch on everything. They're winning the penalty count 4-0 as well. They're forcing the pace. They're forcing Parramatta to do silly things. Clemmer. 
struggles with the defence, gets up and plays it, 21 out. Pierce on the advantage line, gives it to Glasby. Three backs into them, and will be pulled down in centre field. 11 short. Danny Levi, now Pierce is conducting a run this time. Marnie got him with a leaks tackle, and then Lane around over the top. The line is within reach here for them now, Saifiti. Plenty of Parramatta jumpers there. One of them's Gutherson. Tackle number four. I wonder if you'll think about a kick again here. They're going to try with power instead. It's Barnett. Can't wedge the defence open. Here's the last. Here's the skip of Pierce to the end goal. They're chasing again. It was Connor Watson that time. And Mitchell Moses has to send it over the dead ball line. Well, this is pressure personified. Well, it's very clinical. It looks like a training run. They're just going through their plays. They're controlling the possession really well. Their endings to the sets are, are constructive and Paramount are under more pressure. A few of their players with hands on hips and I think their brains are swirling at the moment, thinking it's not supposed to be like this. So Gutherson, oh, didn't. That's a Peter Sterling 8 iron shank, that one. It's gone 40 metres, though. <laughs> Thanks very much, yeah. You've been scouting my game, obviously. I'll be doing well to hang on this set of six, Parramatta. They are starting to look tired. Nine for nine, the home side. And it's one-way traffic with the football. Clemmer now. And Parramatta struggling to get markers in place. 94 tackles against 37 after 15 minutes. Not do much for your full tank. Here comes Glasby. Tackled by Moses and Takarangi. Now it's short side. What can Kalen do? The crowd swells whenever he's near the ball, this bloke. Now Pierce with a grabber for Barnett. Oh, Barnett might have got a hand on this. We're going to go to the bunker. He likes it, Mitch Barnett. Yeah, he's hurt himself in the process. He might have wrenched the shoulder here in trying to get the ball down. I think it's doubtful. Yeah, it, it would be quite a feat to get downward pressure on this ball. Let's just have a look at the injury first. Here's the replay. Knight's nice right side kick, Chase, our own side. Again, desperation. He gets there first. No, he loses it and then goes over on the shoulder. So it's no try. No interference in the lead up. Mitch Barnett loses possession over the goal line. We have a decision. Another fibber. Well, it's tardy, mate. You've got to be a fibber just to put the pressure on the referees. Yeah, it's a surrender tackle. You've done it four times now. Okay, time on. Time on. Lock on. 20 minute restart. Yeah, zero tackle, boys. They've received a lot of attention, these two Newcastle back rowers in recent seasons, Fitzgibbon and Barnett. And the general consensus is their output has been somewhat down for the first six rounds of the competition. They've, they've made their presence felt this afternoon. Well, that was nearly an action replay of the try on the other side to Lachlan Fitzgibbon. A Newcastle player emerging between two Parramatta chasers and getting there first. And it was a breath away from another try. Junior Paulo now. What are you seeing, Darren? Well, the eels are flat. But, uh, the halves, they need to get the forwards excited about something. So an early kick here with your outside men chasing... That's the best way to get your forwards in the game. Start thinking defensively. I can be aggressive and dominate. Here's Moses, 19 points himself last week in the big victory over the West Tigers. Well, I needed that. Well, that might be the turn in momentum. We'll just see what Parramatta can mount on the back of that. Darren Locke is exactly right with the early kick, but it's, it's difficult when you've had no football to kick it away early. It's a brave action, but it's one that works. But you've just got to be prepared to, to do that when you've been tackling for the, uh, the opening 15 minutes. Oh. oh, dear. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Oh, that's embarrassing, that. Well, now we can officially say their minds aren't on the job. They might be made to pay here. Jesse Ramian gets Newcastle rolling within 35 of the line. That's one of those moments that just confirms. Knock on. Stake on Newcastle. Well, they need to snap out of this, Paramount. 
Last week, full of running, scoring a host of tries, celebrating with the crowd, cheering away. And that's the only part of the game they want to be in at the moment. It doesn't look like they want to play without the ball. And it doesn't look like they want to do any hard work before they run some attacking plays. So they've got to get their minds on the job before the other stuff can start. Well, if you were looking at things out there at the moment, you wouldn't think the Knights are the team that have lost their last five, would you? Shifted around in terms of form right here. He's near Corey. Levi and Clamour have forced a mistake on the halfway line. You right with the scrum buck? Yeah. Everyone's up. Right. I'll pack power. I'll bring power in. Clock on. They're resilient, these Newcastle Knights fans, aren't they? Like for, for, for years and years we've been coming here and you know the fortunes of the football team may change, but the fans never. The fans at Newcastle never change. Lost five in a row, but here they are Sunday afternoon, ready to cheer on their team. Where else would you want to be, Gus? Everyone loves their Sunday football. Wonderful stadium here. Great colour, beautiful afternoon. And the scoreboard looks nice for them too. Here's Edric Lee playing it. Danny Levi passes over to Watson, who then goes to Ramian. Levi's already run further than he has in any game this season. At the 16-minute mark, he had nearly 80 metres to his credit. Here's Watson, who had an unhappy game last week. He's 11 metres out from Parramatta's line. They come across towards the centre of the field for Glasby. He's tackled by Nia Corey. That's what they're looking at. Pierce takes them on, but he was stopped. Ponga into first receiver. The ball's bounced back off a Parramatta leg. Oh, Takarangi with a one-handed scoop. Picking up like it was a grape. Blake Ferguson. He's thinking Origin Blake. 11 tries in his last seven games against Newcastle. Salmon, who finds Lane. He's been terrific this year, Sean Lane. Peter? Been very good on that edge. He's, he's worked out the nice combination with Dylan Brown and now Jamin Salmon. Paulo takes it forward. Last tackle now. And Marnie in the dummy half. He goes for Moses. He's going to tumble it down towards the corner where Ponga cuts it off. Can't get back to his 20 metre line. Tackle there by Salmon. Penny Terrapo. Edric Lee. Good quick play of the ball. Well, again, the Marcus, they, they just can't get him into place. That's four quick play of the balls from Newcastle over halfway. With plenty of these involved. And now Clemmer. Two big hombres colliding there, Clemmer and Lane. And Moroa and Salmon as well to affect the tackle. Here's Connor Watson. He'll go down the right on the last. And the ball is available here for Parramatta and they try to scoot up field by Michael Jennings and they'll get a penalty as well. And he taps and takes off here, Michael. He enjoys playing against Newcastle. He has 10 tries in his last 13 appearances against them. Sivo. He's enjoying life in the NRL. Oh, oh. Not so much now. Uh, no. I've oh, spoken too soon. Now the veteran Tim Manor out there. Sivo comes back to the left wing. They go away to Moses. He plays short to Nia Corey. Nicely read by Lachlan Fitzgibbon. This is the first time I can remember Parramatta even being this far down the field. Here's Paulo. Sends some early ball for Jennings. He can't step inside of Connor Watson's tackle. On the fifth there. Outside the 20. And Moses, he'll send a kick up towards Blake Ferguson. And uh, that was an effective shepherd by Heimel Hunt, which allows Edric Lee to regather. Go, 
There you go. One play the ball inside Newcastle's 20 for Parramatta. Another kick play the ball by Kenny down. Now Ponga, always a danger when he gets in the dummy half. He's a danger anywhere for that matter. And the ball out now for Ramian. Steps inside a one, tries to find a gap. He gets up near the halfway line. Plays it to Levi. They're off at them again. Mitchell Pierce, he's loving this. His team winning the ruck and Pierce is enjoying it very much. The Newcastle skipper, he wants to send it over the sideline at 14 0. Newcastle over Parramatta. Quite simply, they're just doing everything quicker. Quicker and better. Quicker is better. Parramatta are retreating in defence on every play. Mitchell Pierce has now worked out. He can wander across the field and dummy and show and wait for a hard runner to come onto the ball who's going to make easy metres. Alana? Yeah, Manu Mau is looking to come onto the field. Let's see if he can add a little bit of spark to the Eels. Well, his first game back with an injury, so it's might be easy for him out there with the speed that Newcastle are playing against them. Tim Manor had one of his best games in a long time last week. And a big win over the West Tigers. Can he do something similar off the bench? He's Gutherson with a run. I think it's been he's been at his best for a couple of seasons, Tim Manor. Yeah. Yeah. Off the bench has suited him and his experience has been good, but he's, he's played with plenty of power too. First time we've seen Manu Ma'u in the competition this year. He suffered a knee injury in the All-Stars match and has only just recovered as Moses is up in with a good strong tackle. Led by Lachlan Fitzgibbon. Now Gutherson will kick it out on the full. Well, Moses was tackled. Not ideal to have your main kick up. Tackled on the last. Mitchell Pierce would have got a bit of satisfaction out of the tackle as well. well. If you write down on a piece of paper all the mistakes you can possibly make in a game of rugby league, Parramatta has nearly kicked off halfway down the page. Well, that all goes well for the rest of the game, Gus. They've, they've, they've covered it all now. No, they haven't. This <laughs> final hunt's gone straight through them. The 30 metre line is there. Hunt plays it. Pierce. Connor Watson, out for Barnett. Pong has got the 100 up already and we're 26 minutes into the game. Now for Clemmer. Powers his way to the 10 metre line. Nana there with Manu, Ma'u, right underneath the black dot. Levi, with the ball for James Gavitt to throw over and score. And I reckon that's his first touch. And he's been out there a very, very short period of time, and well, it doesn't get any easier than that. A front rower just winding up from five metres out and unopposed. This, this is getting ugly. Well, it is ugly. You know, as soon as they do Max replay, could get uglier. No defence coming up to meet him off the line. Getting one on one with Marnie. Darren. Yep. And they're just out enthusing them with everything. And it's just the play the ball speed. We see there the markers were they were late to get there. Then defensively, Reed Money couldn't get off the try line. James Givet, he was at the Broncos for Liverpool, then he was at the Warriors. He's a tough hombre, you see he is. See Reed Marnie laid into the line there. He just doesn't get enough time to get off the line. And then from there, it's just who wanted it more. Well, that's one one of those moments that that just confirms to you how embarrassing this is for Parramatta at the moment. To, just to have a player pull through the line like that so close to the try line. Talk to me, Bucky. Even 28 minutes into this and already Newcastle have scored more points 
in this match than in any other match this season. 20 nil. The try scorer, John Gabbard, playing it. Now Sione Matout here. Was left out of the 17 at the start of the week, but took the place of Jamie Bura on the bench. The Fitzgibbon, 15 short of the halfway line. And now Clemmer with another strong run. As tough as they come, Clem. All the way for Ramian. Bomber was there for a moment. There was half a gap in front of him, but the ball wasn't released. Levi for Pierce. He's going to try and grab one towards the sideline. Sebo's got it covered. He's confronted by Kenny Dowdy. Palms him off and sets off. Just about being their best player so far. Mike Sebo. Now Jennings. Hit strongly and dragged back. By... Gabbett and Matautia, now Lane powers his way up near the halfway line. Tackled by Levi and also Barnett. Oh dear. He nearly topped a big whack there, Ole against Fusi when he was falling down. But air swung fortunately for him and now Ponga. He'll get back to his own 10 metre line. Frederick Lee. Let's see if Parramatta can make a defensive statement here. Try to wrestle something back in this game. Kenny Dow. He'll run back near the 30 metre line. And now Levi again. The marker's the shot there. He's picked up 15 metres easily. Pierce gets it, goes to Watson, turns it now to Jesse Ramian. They are full of confidence, Newcastle. It's hard to believe this is the same team as we've been seeing throughout the season so far, and Pierce will dribble it over the sideline. Well, people wonder why they struggle in their chipping competitions at home, whether it's at the workplace or down the local pub or club, or just amongst the family. But in the last two weeks, we've seen Parramatta flog the West Tigers last week by 50. West Tigers gave it to Gold Coast last night up in Tamworth. Gold Coast flogged the Knights 38 to 14. And here today, the Knights lead Parramatta 20 mil. Work that out. What are you saying, Gus? <laughs> Work that out. <laughs> if you add up by those scores, Parramatta should be winning 138 mil today. And they're down by 20. Well, I think about Newcastle, we, we talked about last week, and they, they were really bad against the Gold Coast. Before that, they weren't, hadn't been far away. They really got the Dragons. They've been in every game until then. It was just a matter of fine-tuning things. Now, the opening half hour of this game... Easy, easy, easy. Things have gone easy. their way because they've made them go their bucket. way. They come out with a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm. They owed the crowd this performance. But the disappointing aspect of it is that the opposition haven't really competed in this as yet. That's a great touch Sorry, finder. Fellas, come on. Well, as yet, there's still 49 minutes to go. And that's the thing, Parramatta can't succumb to scoreboard pressure. They've, they've got to control the football, use the football when they've got it and start moving up defensively, put a bit of pressure on the opposition when they've got the ball. And they do come into this round with the second best attacking record in the competition. They've scored 26 tries in their six games. The half century last week uh, helped that, of course. Here goes Manu Ma'u. So they're down in the 20, and this is tackle number three. We've seen a couple of uh, lopsided starts, the overturned this year. And the Roosters led Melbourne 20 0, and then the Storm got it back. The Roosters winning in Golden Point. So it's not insurmountable by any stretch. Here's Kafusi. 11 away from the line. Moses. Gutherson. Oh, the ball was out the back. He nearly would have got there himself. Clint. Now Ferguson tries to roll it through. Pierce has got it back and then falls on the ground. And was asking someone to come and tackle him. Well, that was rapid fire stuff. Did Ferguson kick that in the end? Yeah, he did try to. I thought Gutherson really would have got there himself if he if he kept going. Oh, no. 
A word to on behalf of the NRL and all of us here at Nine's Wide World of Sports. Uh, we ask you to uh, for join with us in honouring and commemorating the men and women who have served our country for this uh, fantastic Anzac round, which will come to a conclusion at full time here. Played by Watson. His Ponga on the fifth is able to get away from the defence and loops the ball back for Pierce, who can eventually put a kick through, and he's happy to bang it over the sideline. He's just got to keep taking control of those fifth tackle options, Mitchell, because he doesn't want his team to get too excited. He saw Ponga on fifth tackle there at a dummy half. Went out for a bit of an exploration and nearly got himself caught. Pierce bangs it out over the sideline, but he's got to keep control of those fifth tackle endings to his sets. Make sure he's doing something positive and they keep the pressure on Parramatta and make life hard for them. He came up with the tackle in that last set of six down the other end of the field and he just put his body on the line. I love that about Mitchell Pearce. He's happy to, to, to cop the wax, whip the football, oh he'll, he'll take the line on. And all halves like playing on the back of quick play of the balls. I don't know if there's too many better in the competition. Play. He's gone through Pete. He's up to the halfway. Ponga got him. See if he can play this quickly and they can get a roll on off the back of it. Jennings. Blistering footwork. Still alive on the 30 metre line. Sends the ball away for Moses. Now turned back on the inside. And ends up with Manu Ma'u. He offloads. Manners got it. Gives it away to Salmon. Lane again. He started this. This has taken the hand of Kenny Dow. There'll be another set of six for Parramatta. Sivo tries to pull through them. He's 11 short. Can they get on the board here? Keep moving, Manna towards the line. Don't tell me Tim Manna's going to get one. He's over. He can't find the grass and they shove him back. He's done more nudie runs than most, Tim. Ball comes out through uh, Moses to Gutherson. Great tackle. Michael Hunt coming in, cutting that off. Oregon Kafusi. Eight metres out. Some points here would bring them right back into it. Here's Manu Ma'u. Five minutes until the break. A couple of plays left here. Reed Marty goes long to Moses. He gives it to me at Corey. Another great tackle. Pierce around the legs. Oh, yeah, there was a penalty, yes, you're right. Consciously had my foot back and looked at you. It wasn't you. Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? On the line, fellas. And he's just trying to give himself an extra, him and his team, an extra 10 seconds to get some oxygen back in the lungs there, Mitchell Pierce, because they're going to have to defend their line again. Manor. James, the old timer in the lineup. He's a couple out. Reed Marnie goes behind them to Salmon. And now a charging Manu Ma'u, oh, just short. Marnie again, Ferguson with a tap on. What's he doing there, Blake? He should be on the right wing, shouldn't he? Michael Jennings is there now. Mitch, get off! Four out. They haven't cracked them open just yet. Salmon, to Fusi. Stopped on the 10 metre line. Three-man tackle, Pierce in there, Matau here as well, and the last man off was Fitzgibbon. It comes to Salmon, it'll go now for Ferguson, he loops one away, Sebo scores in the corner and Blake's put him over. I think Blake Ferguson has moved to fullback. He spent that whole set of six in behind to play the ball, directing traffic. Well, let's hope so, Gus, otherwise that would be winger to winger. <laughs> you can't have that. Well, it wasn't that needed by Parramatta. Something to take into the sheds. It's a nice read from Blake Ferguson seeing Sean Kenny Dow coming in off his sideline. And you know, Suzu D Max replay Salmon onto Ferguson. And the cutout pass gives Sebo plenty of space to work in. Darren Lockyer. It didn't look too natural, did it, for Fergo? But <laughs> it worked. I, can, uh, I mean, Gutherson's still out there on the other side, so. Whether Fergo's been given a licence to roam, I don't know. But it was good work there. Sebo, he deserves a try. He's been one of Parramatta's best in a, a disappointing first 40. But that'll give him some hope going into halftime. It's also important this kick goes over as well. Uh, Parramatta need to be going up in sixes. 
Again, just to give themselves that little bit of extra boost going into the sheds. Mm. Now, I think Gutherson got hurt by Heimel Hunt on the other side of the field when he crash tackled him. And he might have just needed a little breather over there. But it's been timely if that's the case because Ferguson has delivered the final pass to a, to a nice try. They might get him out of fullback now. Kicked seven goals last week, Mitchell. His first one from near the sideline. Lovely strike. Great kick. Back to that 14 point margin. Stay back! It's cropped up repeatedly in the last couple of years. Teams have regularly been able to overturn 14 point deficits. Can Parramatta do that? It looked like they were totally out of the game in the first 20 minutes. They just clawed their way back. They need to get in the sheds at half time, reassess, listen to what Coach Brad Arthur has to say, come out with a stack of energy, and they can be the first point scorer in the second half. Mm. And all of a sudden. Might be some confidence, and they can come from a large deficit. Manu Ma'u. It's been a typically enthusiastic performance from him in his first appearance of the season. Now for young Oregon Kafusi. Near the halfway line. Play out the back now through Salmon and Ferguson, who's still in that fullback role there. Jennings. Jennings! Inside Salmon was available. Oh. Pong has stopped the try. If that ball went to hand, they were in. Oh. And now they've knocked it on. Now uh, it's a it's adva they're gonna say that advantage wasn't played. So Parramatta will get a scrum feed here, double knock on. What an effort from Kale and Ponga. Got the cape with the S on the here. They were lining up to score this try, and Ponga. Only had the one play, and that was to stop the pass being thrown. Michael Jennings, he had he had numbers back on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. You wouldn't put him past him catching that and then getting up and running the length of the field, would you? Well, things have turned here a little bit because now the coach with the hardest halftime talk is Nathan Brown. Particularly if Parramatta score here. they got 45 seconds to do it. Sebo. It's inside the 20. The 15, Herman Essiesi. He helps to make the tackle there. It's Tim Manor. He'll probably get two, maybe three plays at them. How many will they need? Can they get this try before half time and bring this game to life? Kafusi playing out now to Gutherson. Sivo might get there again. Well, they said for a penalty. Oh, hang on. He might have scored the try. Sivo. Well, it's a forward pass. It's okay. a forward pass, but they played advantage. So they'll take the two. It's a forward pass, so your advantage is the penalty. Which one well, is offside? We'll go into 20 to 8 which is a 12-point deficit. And for the first 30 minutes, it looked like it could be anything. With a 12-points deficit, given what we've seen in the last five or six minutes, Brad Arthur's halftime talk is really simple. Nathan Brown is the one with the pressure on. Gee, that part... <laughs> I don't know. Looked all right, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, he's... Let's put it this way, there's been worse gone unchecked. Well, the touch charge is in good position, but again, do they take into account, forget where the ball leaves from and where it's caught, it's how it leaves. And I don't think that the man passing the football could have done any better than to fire it back there. This is really interesting here. This will be a cracking second half, I can tell you, because I reckon the pressure's on the Knights here. They're the ones that have lost five in a row. They're the ones that have struggled to win games. Sometimes when you get used to losing, it's the easiest thing to do. Important shot this. It can bring us back to 12. He's done that. And we go to half time with Newcastle leading 20 points to eight, but it was 20 nil. Darren.
Well, this will be a cracking second half. Parramatta with that vital try to Mike Acevo on the 38th minute and then a penalty goal on the stroke of the siren has made it a 12-point game here. It was 20-0. It's 20 points to 8, and the Eels look like they're coming to get them. Yeah, it could have been closer if that try had been allowed. Ruled to have been a forward pass. Think back a couple of weeks, Melbourne scored eight points going into half time after the Roosters, I think, had established a 20 to 8 lead, or 20 to 0 lead. Stay back. 20 to 8. That went right to the wire. Gufferson resumes. Ponga will give it away here to a rampaging James Gabbard. One of Newcastle's three try scorers so far. Now Herman Essiesi tackled strongly by uh, Manu Mahu. The Lachlan fits given now. And they run strongly to start the second half. Three tackles gone, now four, and they're up to the halfway line with Sione Matout here playing his 50th NRL match on this ground today. Pierce for Watson. Just kicked to the outside, does well. Ball goes away to Kenny Dow now. Here's the last... Away for Ponga. He's going to put a left footer up in the air. Now, Edric Lee, we know how tall he is, and he can leap as well. Oh, Ferguson. Plucked it out of the air. Oh, he's lost the ball. He's pleading for a penalty. It should be interesting to see if there was a helping hand. There's no good worrying about it now. Damage has been done. It's a good take. And oh, yes, it's right. Well, it's a good result for the home side, and I'd have been very interested to listen to what their coach had to say to them at half time. They need a strong start to this second half. It was the last 10 minutes of the first half, they were starting to get back on their heels and wait for Parramatta to come and get them. So Edric Lee's just fed the scrum. They go short side, Watson. Taken by Ferguson, three metres out from the line. Ball comes off. For Fitzgibbon. Held by Mana and Manu Ma'u. Here's Pierce. Here's Batadia running onto it. Leagues tackle Reed Marnie. Four metres out. Can Newcastle grab the first try of the second period? Barnett, forward pass. Well, a lot more talk from the Parramatta Reels at the start of the second half to as it was at the start of the first half. Just the fact they're all celebrating that error there from the Knights. And watching their body language in the dressing room at half time through our cameras, you could just see that Parramatta were ready to take on this challenge. They'd finally awoken from their malaise. And those eight points at the end of the first half had sparked them right up. Strong defensive push there on Sebo. Heaves him back inside his own 10. Ma'u. He's not going anywhere either. That's good stuff, Levi and Matadia. Now for Tim Manor. Third tackle and not at the 20 yet. Rolling in Kafusi, the youngster. That's a good run. Relieves a bit of pressure. Pushes up near the 30 metre line. And here's Corey. Aimed his run towards Mitchell Pierce. Tackle 12 short of the halfway line. Moses bangs it up in the air. Oh, it bounces in vacant space again, and Sivo's got it. And he offloads. Jennings will go straight to Sione Mataudia. Well, the kick ended up being a dangerous one for Mitchell Moses, but the lead-up play to the kick wasn't good. They, they, they bought it 10 metres from this sideline, and he had to kick from a really awkward angle, and that's... You're looking to set up your last, your last kick. You need to get the right field position or the right place on the field. This is Heimel Hunt. You saw a shot there of Jesse Ramian in back plays. He's back on the 30-metre line. So 20 metres behind the play with the trainer, and he's got a problem with the shoulder. 
to try and soldier on. He looked like he was in a bit of pain there. Pierce slips over as he arrives at Manor. Play to Levi now on the last tackle. Watson's got to change direction and then he hoists it up into the air. It's towards Blake Ferguson. Very safe and now away to Gutherson. Skip a tackle, 20 out from his own line. The Takarangi. Bumps off Pierce and then gets an offload away. To Gutherson again and they roll up to close enough to the 40 metre line. Sean Lane for Jennings. She's uh, had a huge impact with the ball this afternoon, Michael. Manu Ma'u. Look at him go here, Tim. Great run. They met him in the defensive line. He pushed for an extra 10 metres. Moses stabs it. Ponga plucks it out of the sky. There's Edric Lee. He's got a real charge there. Look at this replay of the ball. They're all offside here, Parramatta. Pierce runs from dummy half. You can hear what the crowd think. They probably should have got a penalty there. None of them were behind the referee. Here's Kenny Dow with it. This is a good set for Newcastle. So reminiscent of how they started the game, winning the ruck and rolling up field. 30 metre line, Levi tackle. Edric Lee to dummy half, Mitchell Pierce. Towards Ferguson again. He doesn't drop too many of them. Sivo. Outside the 20 metre line. Manu Ma'u with it now. It's been a good effort for him, him in his first game back from injury. Yeah, and he's, he's dangerous with the football as well. He's got an offload in him, so he along with this man needs to be followed. Now, Matadi um, copped a knock there. He's going to race back into the defensive line. Moses kicks high and long down towards Edric Lee. Marnie leading the charge for the Eels. Kenny Dow this time. Nine short of the halfway. Played to Ponga. And the ball for Barnett. Breaks over the halfway line. Where he's wrapped up in the tackle. And Jamin Salmon. Matowdy leaving the field, unfortunately. He's had terrible problems with concussions over the last couple of seasons. Pierce goes to them and then delivers one back on the inside for Herman Essiesi. Still going here. Good run. Right in the centre of the 20 metre line. He'll play it for Levi, for Pierce. A chip now towards Kenny Dow. Contest. Ball on the ground. Touch back by Newcastle and Jennings gets it for the Eels. Ferguson playing it. Short lane. Quick off the defensive line here, Newcastle. They've ambushed them down this end of the park. That's a good run. That's Ray Stone's first touch. Yeah. Last tackle! Yes, yes, he raced out, and Moses uh, takes a couple of skips before he decides to kick down the field. It dipped late, but Ponga was right underneath the drop zone. Takes the ball, gives it to Edric Lee. Hunt with it now. Pulls through the defence. Now, Marnie was trying to execute a one on one strip there before Stone came in to assist him completing the tackle. Clemmer with it for Newcastle. Tackled by Lane. Hey Dave Clemmer, you've got to go out, you're bleeding, mate. Just 
Send him out the back. Someone play the ball. Play it, Mitchell. Tackle three. Let's go, James. Time on. Play the ball, Connor. Time on, Tackle. Play it. James Gavitt. 21 out from the Parramatta line. Pierce attacks and then gives it to Barnett. Who offloads now for Ramian. Looks like his shoulder's all right. Eight metres out from the line. And the last tackle coming up here. Levi races in the dummy half. Away for Pierce. He's going to go aerial again. He's got Heimel Hunt chasing it. Oh, that was very good. Well, Plucky Brad Takarangi kept a foot anchored in the end goal. Look out. That allows Gutherson to race up and take the quick tap. And uh, he races for 21 metres. Oh. Now for Michael Jennings. Well, they weathered the early storm, Parramatta. The first 10 minutes. Get in their own 20. And that was the break they were looking for. Wonderful work from Takarangi to earn his side an extra tackle in a 20 metre restart. Manu Ma'u, New Zealand international, tackled on Newcastle's 30. Away through Salmon, Gutherson into second receiver. Will turn a ball for Sebo, who split them, he's knocked over 11 out. He's had a big game, Mike Sebo. Ray Stone links up with Moses, shuffles it along to Takarangi with a right footstep. Tries to get an offload away, penalty Parramatta, they're offside. Yeah, we get to a telling set of six here, don't we? As Peter said, Parramatta have weathered a bit of a defensive storm. Now this is their first opportunity in the second half to post points. What have the Knights got? Raystone with the first carrier. Tackled by Clemmer and Levi. All right. In the centre of the park here at McDonald Jones Stadium, Damon Salmon. Can't negotiate a passage through them. He's only five short of the line now. Clemmer wrapped him up. Marnie dummy half. Ray Stone. Dumped hard. Mitchell Moses. Oh, he left Levi behind Moses. Oh, he was tackled by the collar. It's a one of the jersey, didn't rip apart. It's not going to matter. Manu Ma'u races through and will score the try. Put it down, yep. please. Well, he looked like he was going to end up in Gosford. OK, Manu Ma'u, tackle five. I have a try. Can we just confirm that his foot's up over the dead ball line? Foot's up over the dead ball line. Wow. He had no reason to run that far. No, <laughs> no. you think he size 20 in front. Just put it down, please. Manu Mao remains in the field of play and grounds the ball on the end goal. We have a decision. There's no reason to run that far. If he scores alongside of the post, do you think it's a harder kick for Mitchell Moses? Why has he got to run around behind the black dot? I think they call it showboating, Gus. Oh, no. Well, <laughs> gee whiz. Anyway, Darren Lockyer. Yeah, well, it was great work by Takarangi down the other end to get some the seven tackle set. And then Mitchell Moses, who... When oh so close, he did the next best thing though, he played the ball quickly. See there all the Knights defenders, including Ponga. And I don't know why that why Mitch Barnett went in like that, but he opened up the gap for Mahu and it's been a while since he scored a try. He probably forgot how to do it properly. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well this is dangerous for the Newcastle Knights because that's the first set of six they've had to defend at their own end. They were breached once, if not twice, at the back end of the first half. And now the first defensive effort on their own goal line, they've conceded a try like that. Manu's gone through untouched. Six-point ball game. Try our best, mate. 
Well, you reckon Newcastle are at a pivotal point in their season right here. They're trying to avoid six losses on the bounce. They were out 20 nil. They're now trying to stave off Parramatta's rapid advance at 2014. Possession exactly equal. The lights have taken effect and we've got down to a 27 minute ball game. Six the difference. Here's Stone. Taken by Josh King. The 17 for Newcastle into the game now with Clemmer as well. Here's Manu Ma'u running hard. He's run for 120 metres in the game so far, Manu Ma'u. Long range kick from Mitchell Moses. Plucked off by Ponga. And sent away now to Edric Lee. Newcastle plays very slow coming back. It's probably out of test. Oh, well, that'll help. They right. had a test of character for Parramatta in the first right, half. And that's now swung around to the side that haven't won for a long time. It starts to gnaw in the back of your mind as to, here we go again. You've got to silence that voice. Well, they've got to stay positive. They've got to score again to win for mine. I don't think 20 points will win this ball game. In fact, I'm sure of it. So they need to be mindset that we need to score points. Played by Fitzgibbon on the 30 metre line. And run hard by the CSE. It's 21 out. Plays it to Levi. It's going to go right to Pierce. And now for Clemmer. Sean Lane there. Salmon there. Marnie as well. Another one for good measure around the legs. Ray Stone. Levi for Pierce for Barnett. Oh, what a tackle to force the ball out. Wait, wait, and it's wait, rattled wait, Barnett too. He's still down. That was a good tackle. Okay, just a just a penalty. Oh, okay. tight. All right. I've got it. Well, look, from where we are, it looked ball and all, but obviously it was a bit worse than that. Let's see here. This is the angle that will show it better. Okay, out here. Chins. Penalty here. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Gee whiz. Oh, oh, it's it's a high tackle. It's hit him here. That is not a high tackle. Come on, sir. Stop there. Sir, we're not getting anything today. No <laughs> way in the world that's a high tackle. Oh, dear. No way in the world. No way. He's come on top of the ball there. Anyway. That's as good a goal line tackle as you want to see, isn't it? Well, what other tackle would they want him to affect? He, he doesn't stop him otherwise. That's right. <laughs> anyway, here come the Knights. And they're inside the 10. Big Herman Essiesi. Taken by Manu Ma'u. Levi, Pierce, Clemmer. Met by Stone. Gutherson's there too. And Manu Ma'u. He's got a monster of a game, Manu. Six out. Levi. Resiesi tries to find the smaller man in Marnie. But Penny Terrapo is there to help with the tackle as well. They're trying to bash away at the Parramatta front door. Here's Pierce himself. Skips to the right-hand side. Then he'll go back for Connor Watson. He dummies. Tries to get around them. Then goes back towards the centre of the field. He's tackled by Stone. Near Corey there too. Here's Clemmer. There's a pass away to Barnett. Ball's come out the back. Levi scoops it up. Numbers out here. It's, uh, it's given with it. Troy Glasby. Pierce will kick. Takes a bounce back. Hot ball this. Is Mitchell going to get it? Oh, look at this. Penny Tarapo kicks it through, but there's a hold back. You grab Mitchell Pierce around the way. No, no. Going to go against Ray Stone here for interference on Mitchell Pierce. You can't grab a player that's on the ground it's attempting to get... He's doing the same thing. The that's ground. a simple one. He grabbed hold of Mitchell Pierce. Well, I think he was trying to climb over him to get to the ball. Anyway, they'll take the two points here to extend the lead to eight. 
did well there, the Parramatta defence on their own goal line. A lot more resilience than we saw earlier on. Alana Ferguson, a comment from you. Sione Matadia has been cleared from his HIA. He's getting ready to come back onto the field, and Mitch Barnett has headed in to be tested for HIA. All right, thanks, Alana. That's good for Sione Matadia. He's had uh, a number of head knocks over the years. Well, I don't mean to hark on it, but th that penalty for the high tackle gave Newcastle the ball back, and now they're going to, presumably, from in front here, extend the gap to, to eight points, so beyond the converted try. Well, I think both penalties are really harsh. That was, that was an even contest for the ball, and the ball spewed left, and they're trying to both get to it. It's a really harsh penalty. Well, that might quell the nerves a bit. 22-14. Long way to go, though. Macca's Thursday night footy. It's the grudge match of the year. And it's live this Thursday night here on 9. Rabbitohs v Broncos. Wayne Bennett versus Anthony Seabold. Both coaches have dominated the headlines in recent times. Now it's time for their teams to deliver. The Rabbitohs hosting the Broncos. One not to miss on Thursday night footy from 7.30. Broncos are back, eh? Stay back! Long restart by Gutherson. And here goes Josh King. Okay, Ray, get Ready, Ray, get Terrapo and uh, Stone, the tacklers. Clemmer now. They might take some headlines away from you, Gus, this week. <laughs> you might have an easy one. <laughs> Although Wayne didn't know who they were playing next week. Boys. Circles and on the fridge. <laughs> uh, coming into the final quarter of this game now, Mitchell Pierce to drive the ball deep. And 40, 20 attempt. If he can get over the head of Ferguson, oh, he does well to gather in the yards and take the ball. Running with the flight of the ball, took it really well. Now, Sebo. Really pulls through the defence again. Gee, it's a strong run. He's a strong individual. Alana? Smart tactics from the Newcastle Knights. They've sent plenty of those high kicks up to Ferguson so that he doesn't start their sets off from that second hit up and gain them that momentum. He's laying with it now up to the halfway. Four tackles exhausted. And uh, Terrapo stopped by King. And David Clemmer. He's the last. Moses, drop punt style, high kick. is going to run through and put Ponga under the pump. Oh, what about that for a, a catch and move in one motion? Now, I wouldn't recommend him after going, going after him one on one, would you? Yeah, he's got up gingerly, and there's a bit of concern from Moroa there in making the tackle. He actually signalled that he thought there was a problem with the man he had. Yeah, Sternum. Yeah. It's normally a pretty good indicator. Kenny Dow's lost the ball. Here's a big moment right now. Well, Ponga is uh, in a world of pain, and Parra are going to get the ball back on the 40-metre line. Yeah, normally it's a real indication when the man tackling the ball carrier shows immediate concern. And that's what Moroa does here. Oh. He squeezed his collarbones together there. Boys, he crunched him on the ground. Okay, ball in. Comes away for Jennings. Tackled by Matatia. Marnie to dummy half. Moroa. Good run, Tepai Moroa. 22 metres out from the Newcastle line now. He's Reed Marnie, gives it to Salmon, and now Terrapo playing short to Nia Kore. Pierce with a good tackle, 10 out from the line. Can Parra crack them open? Ray Stone taken to ground with a legs tackle. Mitchell Pierce and a Herman Essiesi there. They come along the line, it's with Moses, it's with Salmon and Jennings. If you're looking for a lazy defender here, can't find one. Fifth and last. Penalty on the fifth tackle, if you don't mind. 
back to the ball, mate. They're not going to worry about the two to get it back to six points. They want the try. Here's Lane with it. This is a huge set right here. Here goes Terrapo, all juggled it. Did he juggle it into a defender? Yes, he did. Yeah, they read that well. Parramatta set up to the right side of the play. The ball and Terrapo called for an inside pass to the left. And the Newcastle defenders got off their line and flew at him. And they forced the fumble. Boom. Yep. He bobbled it. And that's great goal line defence. Well, it's a game changer, that one. Adam Palmer was involved there, so he seems to have recovered OK. It's Edric Lee now. It wasn't until round seven last season, last year, that is, the Parramatta registered their first win of the year. They're trying to bring up a fifth now, but they're chasing from behind. Kalen Ponga, 160 metres. David Clemmer, 145. Kenny Dow, Sebo, Lee. All leading up the territory. Here's Clemmer. Terrapo saw him and raced up to put a shot on. 12 out from the halfway line. Here goes Herman Essiesi. Oh, good run. Pardon me, that's Saifidi as opposed to Essiesi. Pierce with a big towering bomb for Gutherson. Tackled by Matat here. 15 out from Parramatta's line. Blake Ferguson draws in the defence and gets an offload for Salmon. Paulo reintroduced. We know he can pass. He gives it away to Moses. Here's a chance, Ferguson. Oh, he had to prop to regather the ball, and he's bundled away. Well, he was sitting back a little bit asleep. And Takarangi did really well to hold the pass up for him to run onto, and he didn't have enough time to right foot step back in field. You see, as, as the big fella Paulo gets an offload, the ball will come wide. And they had to throw that up in the air that he could get to it because he was back, wasn't concentrating. And that allowed Edric Lee to throw him over the sideline. He had every right to expect his winger to be there. Well, a couple of errors the last few possessions. And he chirped down the far end, Blake Ferguson this end. Newcastle, they can get the ball over the line. The time is really starting to run out. So Clemmer with another run inside the 30 now. Now the converted try makes it very hard for Parramatta. Here goes Josh King. Tackled by Terrapo. 15 metres out. Here's Pierce with a short ball away to Fitzgibbon. Tackled by Moses. Through the hands and then on to King again. His second run in this set. Good offload. One bounce. Saifidi there. Fifth and last tackle. Pierce has played it off the legs. Marnie's won it back. Use the ball a bit down this end, Parramatta. They've got to string a couple of passes together. Newcastle are really bunching up defensively, really compacting their defence to, to jam up on this one out running. There's another example of it, but there's an offload. And they'll get out to Paulo, who's uh, very wide for a front row up. But they'll take advantage of the next play of the ball if they get a decent one. Alana? Mitch Barnett has been cleared by HAA, so he's able to take the fields for the night uh, in the next four minutes. Thanks, Alana. Appreciate that. Paulo, Terrapo, slips it away to Sebo. We know he's been hard to hold. How's that for a don't argue? How long are his arms? 
still can't put him on the deck. He's up near the halfway line. And Moses sends one right up into the night sky. There's no one interested from a Newcastle perspective. The ball is touched back by Parramatta. And now Edric Lee's going to scoop it up. Yeah, just watch the Parramatta body and he's right throughout that whole set. It, they don't look like a team that has got the spark left in them at the moment. Yeah, here's the game here. Newcastle can, can score in the next few minutes. That's going to be too tough to chase. They've got 20 metres to go to get there. Here's Glasby off the Pierce short pass. There's an offload in Saifidi and, and King out there as well. Pierce! 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 Oh, he's got there, has he? Yep. He extends the arms and plants the ball down. And, and the referee's down. happy. No hit of a double movement. Pierce does it himself. Yeah, forget the big front rowers. And he just took them on himself with that left foot step and experience there to keep the ball carrying arm, the right arm above the ground so that he could reach out at the death. Well, Suzu Dumax replay, they wait for him. In fact, there were two side steps in there. Oh, look at that. That's great play. Darren. Well, this is, this is about the fourth time he's tried this, Mitchell Pierce, but this time he's successful. Just what the doctor ordered this time in the, the game. That obviously they struggled to close out a game, but this might be the moment where they've done it. Mitchell Pierce. Look at that. Reed Marnie there. He left behind. He's done 62 tackles, so there's a bit of fatigue there. Well done, Mitchell Pierce. I just had a flashback there. That, that red and blue number seven charging at the line with footwork. I think we've seen that in the past somewhere. Yeah, I don't know if the backside's as big, yeah, so. <laughs> But it just had that look about it, didn't it? And you could feel it with Parramatta in the previous set of six. Their, their set of six was so poor, so many people were getting the ball standing still. It was kind of like the spark had gone. They, they, they'd lost their belief. Maybe eight points was going to be too much. So Mitchell Pierce has hurt them. And scoring next to the post really hurts them because now it would be three scores. If it was two converted tries. Might be thinking extra time, but now three to get in front. Just wait for the whistle, uh, Clint, hang on. Wait behind. Wait behind. Wait for the whistle. Kick. So they go short, and Takarangi's going to be the Parramatta jumper. And Newcastle have got it back. Yeah, there's the try scorer, Mitchell Pearce. They had a good look at that from Andrew John Stand as well. Good run by Pierce. The captain does it himself. How about that for Reed Marnie? 63 tackles. We're not even done yet. Release! Hold! A bloke called Hindmarsh in a Parramatta jumper used to rack up those sorts of numbers. I once said to Nathan Hindmarsh, how can you cackle 68 times? And he said, just make 68 tackles. That was as good an answer as any. Yeah, that's a nice answer too. Great kick, Mitchell Pierce. Mike, you got the scrum? Well, it's been a big bounce back, hasn't it? When you consider the scoreboard they faced last week and the score that Parramatta won by, it's incredible, this competition, how fortunes can turn so quickly. Sunday afternoon footy, they love it. 19,604. Great ground, great attendance. And it looks like they're going to leave happy for the moment. Yeah, it makes a di big difference in the workforces around the Newcastle area when the Knights win. Plenty of productivity tomorrow. A bit more coal than usual. Bit of everything. Kids will be happy. Look at this, they're starting to surge now. Yeah, happy the kids will be back to school tomorrow, I think, aren't they? Yeah. Might be mixed feelings there. Eh? Oh, well. They'll all be Mitchell Pierce in the, play in the playground. Oh, 
It'd be a good contest about uh, in the playground who gets Kalen Ponga, wouldn't it? How would you work that one out? Fall out. Tackled by Danny Levi. He'll come for Moses. He's going to chip. And he's got a Gutherson chasing it on the inside. He couldn't put a boot on it, Clint. And Daniel Saifidi's won it back. Stand up now. So it looks like I lost the ball here in Newcastle. As I was about to say, it looks like they're going to break a five game losing run with just win number two of the year. Well, like we spoke about pre match, they, they weren't far away in any of their matches early on in the season, and then, of course, filled their lollies last week. Let's with pack a, him in, Kalen, please. An embarrassing scoreline against the Gold Coast Titans. Well, their coach, Nathan Brown, was saying that, you know, he, he thought they'd trained really well into that Gold Coast game, and they probably just concentrated on the wrong things, trying to fix things they wanted to improve rather than putting emphasis on the basics and their defence. They paid the penalty. Well, Michael Jennings sees off the, the tackle of Levi, but Glasby got him with Sione Mataudia. You saw Jesse Ramian come off with that shoulder problem as well. Yes. Benny Terrapo thought he had the easiest run to the line ever, but the ball was forward from dummy half. Yeah, well, I'll blame the first half hour of this game, Parramatta, so at the first 20 minutes where they just they didn't turn up. And you can't do that in the NRL. It doesn't matter how well or poorly the other team has been going. If you don't turn up, ready to go, you'll get your backside kicked. And that's that's what happened early on in this game. They tried to work their way back in it. Newcastle at home in front of their fans. Been able to weather their own little Clint, storm. He's both come apart. It's not either side of half time and finishing the stronger. You've got to maintain some formation there. Clint, it's a struggle at the moment. Heads down. Put the ball in. Hold. Down. Hold. For at least the next week, the pressure will be off Nathan Brown, Newcastle coach. It'll be spotlight will be sent elsewhere. Well, it's interesting because we we're hypothesising uh, with David Middleton before the game that Newcastle have got to win, given their slow start to the year, 13 of their remaining games to get to 28, which would would have them around the cusp of the eight. So this slow start has them uh, chasing the remainder of the field. At the moment, the Knights go from 16th to 11th with this victory. The Bulldogs will be pushed back to last. That's if the scores remain as they are now or with this margin. What sides want who've got a slow start is for maybe the leaders to continue to win and, and everybody else stays in that mix. You, you want to be one of those teams vying for positions with, with a whole lot of other sides and if you're good enough, you can grab that. You don't mind if the leaders get away. Bring him in, Game time's off. Kalen, Denny. And it does look that way, doesn't it? There's a, you know, the, the couple of teams at the top of the ladder that look like they're going to uh, be very dominant throughout the year. Much can happen, but there is a chasing pack behind them. Yeah. Like. Well, let's just point out the results this weekend. Now, it's still early in the season, and you, know, you will get some consistency more so, but you've got Origin then. That'll have an effect. Manu Ma'u will be tackled with it. The Dragons next week, uh, the Paramount Reels. Jennings shuffles it along, and Marcus Sebo. Taken by Connor Watson, penalty. Jennings now. 
Runs up within 15 metres of the line. Junior Paul out. Oh, look at that for a great read. The two halfbacks collide. And it's the Newcastle number seven who wins that one. Yeah, he's really stood up in this second half, Mitchell Tierce, hasn't he? I mean, he had a, a good first half too, but when they need him, he stood up in both attack and defence. Tip by Maroa. Put that on the 10 metre line. Salmon and Paulo and uh, Gutherson. Ball on the bounce, they've knocked it on. Yeah, look, I'm sure Brad Arthur at some stage during the week sat down with his team and said, look, we need to get our head out of last week. It was a big day. Opened our stadium, big win, but we need to start again at the beginning. We need to respect the basics and respect our opponents. And this is going to be tough up there in Newcastle. I'm sure he said it. I'm sure he said it more than once. took it after the helm. And then you turn up here and you're down 20 nil in no time. Whoever finds that elixir, that one that gives you consistent intensity, worth billions of dollars. You can't leave Newcastle Stadium having conceded the James Gavitt and Mitchell Pearce tries. Mm. And expect to win. Mm. Well, they're going to know where they're at over the next fortnight, Parramatta. I said the Dragons next week, it's the storm the week after that, part of Magic Round. But Suncorp, they're two very difficult assignments. And I'm not surprised at all from the Mitchell Pearce performance this afternoon. I, I reckon he made a personal with Mitch Moses. So much press for the opposing number seven, and all of a sudden talk, you know, origin contention, all of those kind of things. Well, Manu Mahu's going to be heading off for an HIA here. There's Watson. Really splits them open. He's confronted there by Gutherson with a last line tackle. 90 oh. seconds left. Pierce tries to find it. the in goal with a kick. Offside. Accidental offside the call. Tepo into Reed. Accidentally, it's a scrum. And sometimes it takes a loss like last week to to get players paying attention for the Newcastle Knights. I mean, they've been close in games and couldn't quite get it done at the back end. And then you think you're going well enough, and boom, you can see 38 points and get flogged. Then all of a sudden, the coach has got their attention. Yeah, just copped a knee there. Did Ma U went in at a, at a bad angle. He's pretty concerned about that shoulder, Jesse Ramian. It's a good win. Really good win. Badly needed one and a good one. See if they can find a try to send the big crowd here at home with. Ten metres out. Gianni Matauti are playing it. Pierce now. That was a difficult pass. And that might be enough to see us out, actually. That's it. 28 points to 14. Newcastle away to the Warriors next week. And we know that they have got their own injury issues to deal with, despite that uh, gutsy performance against Melbourne. But they've done it nicely here. And it's a, it's a big win for them at home. One that gets a bit of confidence into the camp. They've been knocked around pretty badly over the last couple of weeks. Question marks about the coaching here in Newcastle. Suggestions of uh, a bit of unhappiness in the camp, but that hasn't been reflected by their performance. 28-14, the Knights over Parramatta.